In these courses, we deconstructed the API product, introduced the API product mindset, reviewed the customer experience with customer journeys and personas, and now we would like to offer a few tips on how to formulate your API product strategy, starting with the design of your API products. Recall the keys to an API product mindset. Approach the design with the consumer in mind. Enable fast time to market with reusable assets. And don't boil the ocean, but rather iterate to continuously improve the product. API products are your digital product line. And like any product line, it can target different consumers by adding small tweaks to the product. You should treat each API as you would any other product you produce in your organization. One of the simplest examples of a product is made by the Coca-Cola Beverage Company. The company originally came out with the Coca-Cola Soda and over the past 90 years have branched out into fitness beverages, teas, juices, and different types of water. Each product has its own target audience. For example, Adwala, Simply Orange, and Minute Maid are beverages targeted at families with young children. Fair Life and Core Power are targeted at the health conscious and fitness fanatics. And the Coca-Cola company also offers a variety of water beverages, including Smart Water, Vitamin Water, and Zico Coconut Water. Similarly, your API product strategy will have different product offerings for different target audiences. You may have an API product for general partners, and a different API product for closely held partners, for example, those partners that are represented with a business associates agreement with our company. Your product strategy will begin to shape itself organically as your product line grows, and it's important that you focus on your API consumer needs. Consider any digital transaction you engage in today, using your phone to buy coffee, ordering something online, and then tracking the delivery, or even updates in your bank account. Each one of these transactions is an experience with an API behind it. When you design API products, you should ask questions like, what problems do my API consumers face? How do I make the API product easy to consume? How might you measure the impact of the solution you provided them? Taking a broader view, you might ask yourself, how do I get started? And then a host of follow-on questions arise, like, do I start designing API products for an internal audience or jump right into an external audience? Can proxies be reused in multiple API products? Are there policies that are standard across the enterprise that I can be reused in API products? The answers to these questions will form your API product strategy. And furthermore, the strategy must support your business. With that said, as you embark on your API product strategy, the best way to help guide your design is to provide you with an example. Let's look at the leading ticket sales and distribution company. Their original target audience for APIs were their own internal developers. The company designed the APIs around event discovery and online ticket sales to enable their developers to bring new features to market faster, and in the process, quickly found other benefits when they focused on the API consumer. APIs were initially focused on their internal developers who were creating applications for their internal call center and online website for purchasing tickets. The focus was purely on the needs of the internal developer without much reusability in mind. The top two problems the company faced was how to secure the connection and the data for the application, and how to prevent bots from simulating online purchasers holding tickets, and thus driving up the cost of the ticket due to artificial demand. In solving for the problems, the company found that the security policies could be reused by both internal and partner developers. And so they were able to create API products reusing the same security policies for partners, such as Costco, who included the ability to search for events and purchase tickets on their website. The company found that they could create API products for each trusted partner while reusing the same security policies. And demand for their API products amongst partners grew. Due to the high demand, the company found that they could engage additional third-party supply to help meet the demand. Demand continued to grow with IoT devices coming into the picture. Consumers wanted to search for events and order tickets via voice-activated devices such as the Google Home Assistant. And thus, an API product ecosystem was born with demand and supply running through the API product ecosystem powered by the Google Apogee platform. The company grew from a limited supply delivered through a closed private channel to a vibrant marketplace with an ecosystem of API products with third-party suppliers 
to be consumed by new marketing channels creating services that the company didn't need to build. The added benefit was that the new services cost little to the company to provide. There is no one approach to designing your API product strategy. Rather, there is an approach that you can take to define an initial API product design and refine it over time. Your API product strategy will mature organically. It's important that you don't boil the ocean to begin your journey. Use customer journeys and personas to design API products that have a notable business impact and iterate from there. Along your journey, you will find repeatable patterns such as the security rules mandated by your corporate security office that you will want to build out as standard policies for reuse. It's always a good idea to design your product for external consumers, even if your initial audience is internal. Finally, Review actual usage of your API products and refine them based on your metrics and user feedback to continuously improve your product. Like your API products, your product strategy will evolve over time. Hopefully you've found a few strategies in this video to define your API product strategy. Thank you for watching.